Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Carnage, your Primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today. Today we are here with the XM4 class setup, aka the Commando inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support on the channel recently. We got plenty more videos lined up, both Modern Warfare once the alpha is over, followed by uh, some more Cold War gameplay tomorrow. Uh, but let's get right into the setup. So the XM4 is basically the Commando for anyone that has played Black Ops 1. It is a very accurate uh, assault rifle very similar to the m4a1 inside of modern warfare uh, however it's got a little bit of different recoil pattern and also a bit different bent damage model and fire rate so the setup you're going to want to be using for this one is the standard optic which is the quick dot led uh, it's the standard red dot sight that the weapon uh, is defaulted to uh, so you're definitely going to benefit from using that one in that case your muzzle is going to be the agency suppressor which is going to make it so that way your bullets uh, do not appear on the mini map and you'll also get some vertical recoil control as well at the cost of a little bit of some range of 15 percent and the barrel that you're going to want to be rocking is the 13.5 paratrooper barrel the reason why you want to use this is because you get basically almost double the range which is going to negate that 50 percent range that you're actually losing from the other attachment in this case next up you're going to want to be rocking is the martial foregrip this is going to increase give you a bunch of bonuses to your weapon uh, including uh, but not limited to sprinting move outs move speed base move speed shooting move speed aiming move speed at the cost of hit fire accuracy and hit fire accuracy is irrelevant for assault rifles because they're assault rifles you really shouldn't be hit firing so it really doesn't matter too much in that case and the next attachment you're going to want to be rocking and last but not least is going to be the 40 round speed mag now you can use the standard 40 round mag it's entirely up to you um, but the speed mag just gives you a lot more mobility with your weapon uh, and also faster reload speed so i actually prefer this one but to each their own they're they're both very good options so it's entirely up to you uh, whatever works best for you uh, and actually for the next uh, part of the class uh, 1911 is the standard pistol that I'm using I didn't really change any attachments on this because you really don't need to use your secondary too much in this game tactical is going to be the stun frag is going to be your lethal uh, field mic is going to help it it's basically like a portable radar so definitely recommend you use that your perk setup uh, you're going to want to make sure you have the wild card perk greed so that way you can have six perks uh, flak jacket tack mask scavenger tracker ninja and ghost this is hands down the most overpowered perk setup you can possibly use inside of cold war so hopefully this helps you guys out anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay i'll catch you guys in the next one it's your boy carnage or primitive a king signing out peace out fellas
Come on, team. Like, what are we doing? Sits back there, doesn't move. Good lord. <laughs> 